Okay. I am super excited to um, do this impromptu product review that I never thought I was ever going to do, but I feel very compelled to do. And that is because my beautiful friend Kat at Gracious Minds sent me an impromptu little care package from her beautiful brand and I am just mind blown and I wanted to share that mind blownness with anybody who is willing to hear it. Let me backtrack. I received this package in the morning today and I actually thought it was from my mom. And my mom's been sending a lot of packages lately because uh, it's my daughter's birthday soon. So she's been sending lots of cute little gifts here and there for Flo. And um, this actually said Dre and Flo. So I thought um, immediately as soon as I got it that it was gonna be from my mom. So I actually left it by my door and was like, I'll get around to it later in the day. And then after I had like a, you know, afternoon tea and was a little bit, you know, just chill and not so much in work mode, I was like, okay, I will take the time now to open this up. And then I thought it was strange because usually the packages that I get from overseas are, you know, it's like the standard sort of FedEx-y, very like thick plastic packaging. And I noticed right away this was different because I just ripped it open and I was like, that's odd, okay. And then this was tied up like that. And I was like, what is, what the, what the hell? And then I was like, oh, honest, equal. Ah, it's from Kat. Cause Kat had said that she was gonna send me something, but I didn't, I had no expectations. I thought she might just send like, I don't know, a card or I don't know, just, I don't know, just something, not this. This is like, this is an entire bag with like cool stuff in it, like lots of cool stuff in it. Um, anyway, so I wanted to take you through it. So yes, yeah, so this bag is biodegradable, which is why it was so easy to open. I wish I could find, I think it says something, uh, yeah, compost conditions. Um, if you do not have a compost bin, please do not recycle this bag. Simply put it in your general rubbish and it will biodegrade in time. How awesome is that? Okay, cool, so bing bing, cool. We're winning so far. I'm actually burning this incense right now. It's fucking magical. Oh my lord. That went straight into my nostrils and like into my brain. So I don't know if my facial expression necessarily communicated that it's awesome, but it is. So this incense is Himalayan juniper berry and frankincense. Holy shit. Um, a warm woody scent to calm the seams. I already love it. Um, just to give you a brief, Gracious Minds is a product company online and they also have um, journals, which I have upstairs. Oh, I should have probably brought that down. Maybe for a different time. Anyway, their journals are also incredible. They um, have linen covers and they um, are made of like crushed stone, I believe. That's the proper description of it. And recycled, crushed, recycled stone. So it's stone paper and it's so fucking smooth. And for people who love journaling, which hello, I certainly do, um, it's a dream. It's actually a fucking dream to write on it. It doesn't even matter like what pen you write on it with. Like you know certain time, like you, you can use certain um, pens to get like that, that very smooth type of feel to the paper that's not required. Literally any pen will feel smooth on the paper. It's fucking amazing. And um, I literally used it up in like probably a month and a half. Like I literally used up that journal so fast because I just wanted to write in it and it was great. And her, like the whole, you know, without kind of, I, I don't want to describe it in, uh, in a way that is inaccurate, but basically, at least for me, like my impression of Gracious Minds and when I go to the website and without necessarily like having memorized the ethos of it, um, it's a brand about self-care and it's a brand about, it's a company about um, like nourishing yourself and taking care of yourself and um, she also offers like, you know, she hosts different kinds of coaches on her website as well um, that are all about wellness and things like that and so her products are all about sort of nurturing um, a sense of well-being within 
and it goes hand in hand with the journals because obviously journaling is all about well-being and mental health and you know things like that connecting to yourself so it's you know and i feel so privileged oh my god i'm gonna cry don't cry <laughs> um i just feel oh i'm gonna cry stop it um i feel privileged to have seen cat um just witnessed her journey through discovering, you know, she had another company before Gracious Minds that was also great and successful and very unique in its own way. And, um, and she stopped that because she wanted to go a different direction and she followed that gut and that instinct and that intuition to guide her in a different path. And I've been her friend through all of it and have seen the changes that the company has made. And, um, you know, at times it wasn't it, like it started to develop into something else that wasn't aligned with her. And then she went back to the drawing board. And it's just like, I'm just sort of, you know, it, like in awe of um, seeing how far it's come and how great of an impact it has now. And, um, and she's just a great example of, I think, perseverance and sticking to what your idea was and is, and then just like developing it and developing it and then just being able to go, that didn't work, let's go back and that didn't work, and go back and like over and over and over again until you kind of start to figure it out more. And I'm just mind blown by this package because I haven't even gone through all of it, but like if you want to gift anybody something that's, you know, if you want to give something to somebody that is into wellness, into like wooey deliciousness, like juicy things that like feel good for the soul, um, fucking gracious minds, man. Like, it's just, okay, anyway, I digress. So the incense smells fucking amazing. You can really smell the, um, the woody tones for sure. And the frankincense, like it's, it's, I don't know, I don't necessarily know what juniper berry is meant to like smell like, but frankincense, I can definitely smell that. And it's not like, because it's mixed with this other element, um, it's not as strong as a frankincense that you normally would burn when it's just pure frankincense. Um, so it's a really nice mix. And I also just like the packaging. <laughs> okay, this chocolate, I already opened it too because I couldn't resist and it's fucking amazing. And also, look at this wrapping paper, like, A for um, presentation. Loco Love, artisan chocolate magic, vegan and organic. Caramel and cookie dreams come true. Yes, they fucking do. It's amazing. I could eat this whole thing. Like right now. Okay, moving on. Ah, I love books, books! Yeah. Okay. Questions and Rituals for Self-Reflection, a guided journal by Lee Patters pa Patterson. Moon lists. How fucking pretty is this? I like it simply because it's fucking pretty. I just, you had me at pretty packaging. And then it's just that much better that it like supports all of these great things. Um. How do we rediscover and appreciate the simplicities in life? Can we observe and document the present in a way that informs the future? And then inside, avoid what reduces you. <sighs> Amen. There's just what a lot of prompts. Take a recent inventory, a sight, a smell, a sound, a touch, a taste. Who is the you of now? A survey of present interests, curiosities, recurring themes, a space for a short list of some front burner items. Blank slates, the writing of Tara Brock. Fuck, this writer mentions Tara Brock. I fucking love Tara Brock. If you don't know Tara Brock, know her. Her guided meditations are fucking fantastic. Her podcast is beautiful. It is, and her books are amazing. Oh, I get it. Okay, so on one side, it's talking about, I guess this is like the author's take on it, and then this is meant to be yours. Cool. Hey, this is awesome. Moving on. So, Turmeric Latte Blend. Cool, I'm into it, I'm into it. It's vegan, caffeine-free, no added sugar, 100% organic ingredients. Voted Australia's best beverage product. 
This is cool, from Golden Grind. I've never tried this in my life. I'm very fucking excited. I love turmeric blend latte shit. Okay. 2020 intentional 12 month calendar into it. Let's open it. I'm all about intentions and all of this cute nerdy shit. Okay, this is adorbs. Cool. So we have a little thing you can hang it from at the top. Monthly mood. I feel like the mood for most of this year is fuck this shit, but yeah. Inspired observation. Okay, I feel like I need to do like a deeper dive into this. Let's just actually, let's go into July. July. Passions, deep conversations, light gatherings, the circle of inspiration, simplicity, lemon and water. Fuck lemon and water, yes. Feet in the sand, a smile with a stranger, color cake. 4th of July, full moon on the 5th, which was also an eclipse. End of Mercury, retrograde on the 11th, fuck. End of Cancer season, start of Leo season, whoop whoop. Okay, that's that, cool. Oh, you're getting the light there. Into it, oh fuck, that incense smells so good. Okay, what is this? Camila Aubrey. Shall I compare thee to a summer day? William Shakespeare, Sonnet 18. What is this? Oh my God, I'm so curious. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I shut my eyes. Oh my God, it's like cute. Like every step of the way, there's like a cute little card. I shut my eyes and all the world drops dead. I lift my lids and all is born again. Sylvia Plath, Mad Girls Love Song. I'm gonna like put all of these um, somewhere. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, it's a perfume. Ah, I love perfumes. Hey, Sash, can you smell it? It smells so good. You can't see her really, but she's there. Oh, there she is. Oh my God, it's three perfumes. Holy shit, I'm just, I can't. Can you believe it? Cause I can't. I was, this was not what I was expecting. My, my, my day, my week, my fucking month of lockdown is made thanks to this. Thank you, Kat. I just, I, I can't even deal with it. Okay, this is taking a really long time to open. I don't want this video to be like 35 minutes long. So I'm kind of like not trying to spend a billion years um, with every section, but okay. Wow, I get it. I think sonnet. Oh, just kidding. I don't get it. I thought it was going to be like related to the quotes from the people and that that's what it was going to be named after. Probably a great idea if I do say so myself, but that's not how it went. So a perfume is not named after um, sonnet 18. It's called sonnet 98. Camilla Aubrey. I can't smell shit right now. The, the nail. Resinous, earthy, green. I love earthy. Floral, balmy, slightly tart and spicy. Fuck yeah. Can't smell it though. I need to spray it and I'm not going to because there's already that going on with the incense. But look, it has what? Let's put the perfumes in. Fantastic. Just incredible. Okay, amazing. This is great. Okay, so it's a little box of little perfume samples from Camila Aubrey. And the presentation is also beautiful. It's just so delicate. Ugh, just hits the spot. <laughs> this is so Venusian. Is that the word for it? Venusian, like the Venus planet. I'm just like, I feel so mm, taken care of. Okay. Believe in yourself and do what you love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Books make me so happy, and I've never heard of this one. I don't know who Kate James is, but I love it anyway. Kate James is a coach. Wait a second. This might be one of the coaches on her website. Maybe? Maybe not. I'm not sure. Don't take my word for it. Kate James is a coach, mindfulness teacher, speaker, and writer. Fuck yeah, bitch. I love it. All right. Choose a career. Too many ideas. What, 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 let's get a summary up in here. What's the summary? Can I get a summary of this? Acknowledgements, not a summary. Okay, I don't really know the summary of this book, but um, I like it anyway. How happy are you? Be mindful. Everyone is creative. It's okay to be vulnerable. Discover your strengths. Develop unrealized strengths. Oh, I like that. Understand your purpose. 
Who are you trying to please? Meditate on it. What are your values? What do you love? This is all great. Okay, so it just seems like they're like prompts. Um, to have you think about things more deeply, which fuck yes. It's like good journaling stuff as well. Mindful people have the capacity to look at their lives objectively. Yep, yep, yep. How pretty is this book? Oh, I love it. And I love that it's just filled with like enriching. Enriching, is that a word? Um, filled with just, I'm gonna go with it. Enriching, uh, prompts to get you thinking more deeply about your life and just feel feel things feeling things and thinking about stuff more clearly and more deeply these are all great things oh oh okay essential oils what is this from sleep relax cedar and stone I have a fucking massive tendency to just mispronounce things and put the emphasis in the wrong syllable, emphasis on the wrong syllable, um, and so I, I I probably will mispronounce and have already mispronounced a lot of shit. So cedar, I don't know if that's cedar or cedar ESL problems, um, and stone. Oh, that's also it's so earthy. Fuck yeah, I love it. The best bridge between despair and hope is a good night's sleep. Fucking oath. Encourages sleep and soothes mine. Hell yeah. Cool. Love it. Okay, a roll on oil perfume. Damn, cat went all out, man. Fuck, that smells amazing. A blend to empower, boost self worth, and raise sexual vibrancy. Hey. Roll onto wrists, behind ears, and decolletage. As needed. Organic sunflower seed oil, essential oils, black pepper, jasmine. I can definitely smell the jasmine in there. Lang Lang, I can definitely smell that. Considered safe during pregnancy. Made in Australia. Yes. Yes, behind the ears, girl, behind the ears. Hmm. I just got it on my upper lip. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh! More chocolate. Sash, watch out. Sasha's seriously just very enthusiastically sniffing everything just there. But she cannot get into this chocolate. Okay. This is amazing. There's three more things. It's like the fucking Mary Poppins bag. The gift that keeps on giving. I don't know what this is. Almond oil? Oh, almond cuticle oil. Huh. How cool. It doesn't smell like anything, which is fucking awesome considering most nail polish things smell like poison. Moonchild, Bopo Women, oil blend for flow. What the hell is this? Follow the moon, she'll light the way. An essential oil to blend, oh, an essential oil blend to help you thrive and flow. Roll onto wrist, so this is another roll on perfume. Look at the packaging. I don't know if this is focused. But anyway, the packaging is pretty. <laughs> what? I was not expecting it to look like this. I was expecting it to look more like that. But it's got its own cool little look to it, like a blue tint and a gold top. Holy shit! This is amazing! Oh my god, features obsidian? I don't know. Oh, features obsidian. Roll a bra. Okay, so I don't know what obsidian is, but it's just talking about the ball. <laughs> um, roll into its ingredients. Coconut oil, bergamot oil, patchouli oil, lavender oil, blue tansy oil. Oh my god, bopowomen.com. Fuck, oh, that smells amazing, but I'm not going to put it on because I just put on the other one. Oh my god, okay, hold on. I'm trying to describe what it smells like. But it's also, I'm a little bit overpowered by the ling ling over there. It smells so fresh. Oh. Like, wait, no? Yeah, like, 
aqua-y. I can see where they went with blue. It's like, it's, it reminds me of water. No wonder it's called moon child because the moon is water, it's emotion. <sighs> Fucking love it! Oh my God, I'm dying. Okay, Venus mist. What did I describe this package as? Venusian. Okay, Venus mist, I'm into it. Let's see. A refreshing blend to help revitalize and tone the skin. Effectively reduces redness and provides essential hydration throughout the day. Also great as an emergency hair mist to tame loose ends or strands rather, or to set makeup. Huh, directions, shake well and mist over face as needed. Alternatively, spray onto a cotton ball and gently wipe face to remove makeup. Oh my God, really? This is great. Okay, I'm not really sure why that stopped filming, but I still have room in my card, so I don't know what happened there. And then, okay, so this is basically a toner and can be good for flyaways and um, you can also use it to remove makeup, which is very cool. And it's called Venus Mist. I'm gonna try it right now. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Holy moly. That smells like self-care. <laughs> that just smells like all things lovely. I just hit myself and gentle and nice and kind and like this seriously this is all great materials to oh whoops that looks different because i oh well all of these products i feel like connect you to your moon within and your water and your oh no sasha you got stuff on the book. Come on. Can you see? She put her slobber on the book. God damn it. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, all of these things really connect you to like the moon elements and Venusian elements within. I feel like it's all, whoa, that sun. I feel like it's all um, very to get in touch with yourself, to feel good. These are all very Venus qualities. These are all very moon qualities. It's all like emotional and inward and like juicy. And I love it all. Anyway, so that is my review for Gracious Minds, my impromptu review for Gracious Minds and a bunch of products. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in any of these, um, I'll link the website in the video description. And um, yeah, just browse. She's got so many, what is it, Sashki? She's got so many um, awesome products and um, she's also got coaching up there and her journals are amazing, as I said. And yeah, this is just, all of these things feel really good. Like they feel like a treat coming from me right now that I just experienced all of them. Um, they feel amazing. So I would suggest, you know, having a look through the website if you want to treat yourself to just something really nice for yourself um, or they're great gifts for friends that you love and family that you love and care about. Um, and yeah, that's it. Bye. I love books, books. Yeah.